Hi friends, good morning to all of you. So in this video we will discuss about SQL transformation. So जैसे कि power center में इनके साथ लोगों ने कभी काम किया होगा, इनके से ना भी किया होगा, but I just wanted to tell you, uh, informatica power center में क्या होता है? कि there are two types of transformation: SQL transformation as well as stored procedure stored procedure transformation. But in IACS in a single transformation it has provided functionality to implement SQL transformation as well as stored PCA transformation. So in this video we will discuss about with the help of SQL transformation how can we implement SQL queries and with the help of same transformation itself you can implement stored procedure transformation itself uh, also. So this is the basic difference between like uh, I can say that uh, if someone asks you difference between informatical power center and IACS mappings. So this type of things you, which you can already tell okay. So now so let's discuss about this mapping. So in this mapping what I have done first of all I have imported source and target okay if you see here. So what I have put the name by clicking on this window I have provided name of my mapping okay. Now if you I go and click on this thing so what I have selected here. So by default it is uh, give, giving source you can mention name of your source table if you want but it, but it's it just for learning purpose I haven't provided any name but you can put any name here okay based on your project requirement or anything now if I go to source so here what I have done in source system I have taken like uh, Oracle database HR schema and I have taken single table if you see here we are having option of single object multiple object query parameter okay so these things we will discuss in future video okay but uh, for the timing I have just taken employees table okay now so this is my employees table my target table is what is my target table in my target I have taken like uh, my target database is snowflake and in that I have taken pgt underscore employees also what I have now these two things which I have done third thing now so we have defined source we have defined target now so let's come to SQL transformation so so if you go and just link anything uh, by between source target uh, if you hover your mouse it will give you option to select any type of transformation okay which are available also you can drag and drop from here okay just this is just a UI user interface purpose now if I have I have just clicked on SQL transformation from I have went here and just clicked on there SQL transformation okay from here also I can have drag and drop now if I click on these things now let me see I have a name of this transformation I have put SQL transform okay incoming fields so whatever fields are present in my source all the fields are coming here okay now so you will see a new option here called SQL okay so in SQL what I have done so in SQL I, what I have done I have taken any connection it means from which database or which connection we want to pick the data okay second thing uh, here you, you you will see here uh, like as I told uh, like uh, it is provided all type of transformation in a single transformation it's a SQL transformation okay so here you can see you can implement a stored procedure a stored function SQL query okay so here what we have done we have selected SQL query now so what I have uh, so this is showing your all the incoming fields okay in and here you have to select option as query type you can also select save query but there's option we'll see later but right now what we are doing here we are directly writing that query second thing we have selected oracle hr database okay in this hr schema after that what i have selected here department select department name from departments where department id equal to this thing now suppose i have uh, i have this and done this thing if i evaluate it will show it will show me error error so first of all let me show you first of all let me run this this part of the query my oracle database first of all okay so up to this part oh sorry what i missing here okay where so up to this part your query will run fine so any type of thing which you want to mention here you can put the same thing here now so this is your department ID. after that you need to select your incoming fields so from this field like you are uh, here what we want to do we want to make join between departments and employees table okay so what we have done here we have selected a department table with the help of this query now department ID we have selected from this thing okay we have selected this now what we need to do so once you select this is your department ID from your uh, department table this is department ID from your source table 
now after that now if if i want to validate this query let me see here it is getting validated it might get validated but this will not solve our purpose because we need to take this as an incoming field so what we can do here we have to put question mark here and again question mark here okay now i will validate it will show me like uh, sql query is invalid but it should work in this way only because it's incoming field now these things we have done so uh, the sql transformation we have done now if i go to uh, next option field mapping it is showing nothing to show now i will go to output fields so once you click on this output field you will see these options first one is query field second option is pass through field okay so initially pass through food field would be blank for you now here if you see here this is the main field here by default sql error option will show you and after that what i have selected what is my output column name so here i have selected uh, like uh, department underscore name this is my output field okay with the help of this query also pass through fields these are the fields which are coming from my source so if i want those uh, fields also i have put it here all the columns now i have went here okay now uh, this is my target i have already told you incoming fields so here if you see what are the fields are coming these fields all these fields are coming from your pass through field okay at the last if you go and see there is a sql error which which is coming from your your sql transformation and there is there would be one more column called department name yeah so if you see here this is your department and underscore name this is coming from your sql transformation okay which we have selected in your query option so maybe these two suppose you want to uh, take out more columns then in your query itself you have to select more than one column and same thing you have to use your uh, like uh, select uh, in your query option so these two things which you have to take care after that i have selected my target which as usual okay now target fields these are the column in your target and field mapping so in field mapping you will see this is my so target columns and after it i have click on this smart map a smart map on the basis of uh, column name it will map it in case if any one is anything is missing you can just drag and drop so here if you see here this this is my older table in my target so row number i have already added but no need to use this column that's why it is showing blank this department name we have already added in, in target table so same if you see here i have dragged and dropped here that's all so this is about sql transformation now let me validate this now let me run this query okay so now it is running now one question will will you come in your mind so what is the use of this sql transformation so basically what it does in case like uh, in your pipeline uh, like uh, suppose in real time projects we need to create two complex mappings suppose in between the pipeline you want to join with any table or which is present in database there are multiple options which you can use you uh, via lookup or anything so suppose sometimes you are getting any performance issue or anything so, so what you can do you can use this sql transformation so this sql transformation what it does directly your query is getting executed in your database in place of I, iacs cache it is all the queries we are getting executed in your database itself so sometimes you will get performance uh, uh, good performance also let me see if it has been loaded running right now so as in this video we discussed about uh, sql transformation in next video i will try to uh, like uh, create some stored procedure also so with the help of same sql transformation we will try to hit database and uh, like uh, we will create some procedure in database and we will try to hit direct that procedure so i think it is showing success if you see here it is having 107 rows in source in target it has load, loaded 107 rows okay so second thing if you see here the number of rows has been loaded and in the last you will see here a department name this column is coming from your departments table or one more thing to mention here if you see here what we have done it will implement your inner join okay like we have put department id equal to this one 
if you want you can put any type of you know, multiple two complex queries here also by like by using left outer john or anything it will work here as usual thanks